Okay, we're going to talk about metric conversion. So what we use to help us remember just the easy way to convert is um, King Henry died unexpectedly drinking chocolate milk. And there's different little versions of this, but the one that we used in class is King Henry died unexpectedly drinking chocolate milk. These all stand for one part of the metric system. Um, the easy thing about the metric system is every time you move, you are either dividing by 10 or multiplying by 10. So if you're going from kilo to milla, you're dividing by 10 each step. If you're going milla to kilo, then you're multiplying every time by 10. So it's a 10, um, the system behind it is times 10 and divided by 10, which makes it really easy. So in fifth grade, all we really do of, of all of these that we learned in fifth grade, we have kilo, we have the unit of measure, the U stands for the unit of measure because in the metric system, there's three different things that you can, um, there's three different kinds of unit of measure. There's liters, if we're doing liquid, there's meters, if we're doing um, length, and there's grams, if we're doing weight. So the U represents the basic unit of measure of liters, meters, or grams, then centimeter and millimeter. So you guys will do deca, deca, and hecto in the sixth grade, but for fifth grade, this is all you need to know, okay? So we're gonna just kind of convert some real quick. So the great thing about converting this way is it's just really easy. So if we're gonna convert 80 liters to kiloliters, you're gonna write whatever number that they gave you. So if we're converting 80, we're gonna write down 80. And what you wanna remember is your decimal. Where is your decimal right now? Well, your decimal is at the end. And how do you know that? Because it's not showing. So anytime you don't see your decimal, it's there. It's always there, it's just at the end. So we're gonna go ahead and place our decimal on our number where we're going. And then we, are, we were given liters. This number represents liters. Well, liters is really the U. It's our basic unit of measure. So we're gonna go over here and our liters was really here. This is where our liters is. So we were given 80 liters, but they want us to convert it to kiloliters. So that means we're going to be dividing by 10, by 100, by 1,000. So technically we're dividing this by 1,000. But to make it easy to convert, we're gonna start with where we were given and we're gonna move our decimal one, two, three times to the left. So one, two, three times to the left. Well, we don't have a number here, so what do we need to put there? We need to put a zero, okay? So our 80 liters converts to eight hundredths kiloliters. Well, we can drop the zero because we don't need to keep a zero after the decimal if it's at the end. So we don't have to keep that in our answer. And so again, we wanna look at, okay, if we had 80 liters and we're dividing to get to kilo, that number should be smaller, and it is. This is only eight hundredths and this is 80. So you are gonna have more liters than you're gonna have kiloliters because kilo is much bigger than liters. Remember, we divide going left, we multiply going right, okay? So our next one is 336. Our decimal again is at the end, and this time we're starting at grams. Well, which one of these letters represents grams? Again, it's the U, because that's our basic unit of measure is grams. So we're starting again at, at, at the U, and this time they want us to convert to milligrams, okay? Milligrams is all the way down here. So if we're going from grams to milla, we're gonna be multiplying. I mean, excuse me, we're gonna be dividing, okay? So we're going to the right this time. So one, two, three. We're moving our decimal one, two, three. And I think I just said dividing and I meant to say multiplying, sorry. So we're gonna to have to add our three zeros. So our 336 grams is gonna turn into a whole bunch of milligrams because milla is the tiniest measurement of grams that we have. So if we're going from grams to milla, that number is gonna be much bigger, which again it is. Because once we move our decimal to the end, this just became 336,000, okay? So again, if we're going left to right, we're multiplying by 10 each step. So that, that's gonna make our number bigger every time. Okay, we've been given meters this time. So we have 8.25 meters. Well, 
How do we know that's not Mila? Well, it's not gonna be Mila because anytime it's Mila, it's gonna be a double something. It's gonna be double M for millimeter, it's gonna be ML for milliliter, and it's gonna be MG for milligram. So you kind of have to be careful about that because sometimes you'll mistake this for meters and that's not meters, that's Mila, okay? So we're starting out with meters. Our decimal is already in our number and we're converting to centa. So again, we're starting at our basic unit of measure we're going to centimeter this time, so we're going to be going left to right, so we're going to be multiplying again. So we're multiplying by 10, 100. So we're moving our decimal two times to the right, one, two, and we're ended up with 825 centimeters, which again makes sense. A meter is about the same um, length as a um, yardstick, it's a little bit bigger. So if you had three meter sticks, and you turn those into centimeters, centimeters is about this big, that number's gonna be much bigger. So if you have eight meter sticks and you turn that into centimeters, that's 825 centimeters. Again, use your common sense as you're making these conversions to make sure that you know why the number's getting bigger or smaller, okay? All right, this time we're starting out with 1200 and we've got mg, so that's milligram, okay? That's a double letter, so we know that's milla something. So that's milligrams. We don't have a decimal, so we know it's at the end. We're converting this time from milla, so this is where we're starting, but we're going back to grams, which is our unit of measure, okay? So we're starting here. If we're going to the left, we know that we're dividing by 10 each step. So we're dividing by 10, by 100, by 1,000. We move to the decimal one, two, three times. One, two, three. We ended up with one, and two tenths grams. We can dump our zeros after the decimal, we don't need to leave those. So our teeny tiny milligrams, but we had 1,200 of them, turned into only one and two tenths grams, okay? So let's say we were gonna do this, let's go, let's go ahead and do this all the way to kilo, just for fun. So let's say we had 1,200 milligrams, and this time they wanted us to convert it to kilograms, or yeah, kilograms. We're gonna start at milla, we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six times to the left. So one, two, three, four, five, six, which means we have to do what? We have to add two zeros. So our 1,200 milligrams turned into 0 .0012 kilograms. So that's hardly anything. <laughs> that's 12, 10,000 death that's a um, kilograms. Okay, that's how we convert using metric. Doesn't matter if we're converting liters, meters, or grams. You can always use King Henry. Just remember this is your unit of measure. Remember this is Mila. Start with whatever they give you, wherever your um, unit of measure starts. That's where you're gonna start with your decimal and you're gonna move it left or right. Again, either multiplying or dividing. All right.